am the river Niger. Hear my waters. of America, Strategic Air Command, Navigator. Oh, <laughs> Johnny Williams, you know you're the biggest fool in God's creation. Now, how in hell can you get so worked up over the white man's Air Force? Well, I don't like white folks either, but I sure do lovely war machines. War machines? <laughs> Killing machines? There's no heroism in death, Johnny. It's just death. Dirty, nasty death. Ah, the fact remains. Monkey chasing son of a bitch. Oh. The fact remains that I've got a son coming home from the Air Force tomorrow, and you ain't got nobody. <laughs> 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 I am the last of my line, and I ain't about to bring no innocent children into this pile of horseshit. It's presumptuous as hell for you to think you can figure this shit out. Then what have we got brains for, huh? It's for thinking, stupid. My advice to you, monkey chaser, is fart, piss, screw, eat, run, fight, beat your meat. Criticize, sympathize, but for God's sake, stop thinking. The white man's sickness. I got to go to the bathroom. What, what, what? In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. My Jamaican tree climber. I need $190. 
Mr. Buck? Owe me $109. You mean you drank all your money? Hell yes. You're a big shot sitting up everybody at the bar, and now you come to me. Right, nigga. Now, do I get the bread or not? I ain't required to give you my life story for a measly handout. A measly handout of $190? Right. You already owe me $340. How am I going to explain to Maddie? Now, do you going to loan me the money or not? <laughs> well, 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 look at the great African warrior now, about to get his ass kicked. Excuse me, but I'm a friend of Jeff Williams, and this is where he lives, isn't it? When he's home, yes, but uh, he won't be here till noon tomorrow. Oh, um, would you help me with my suitcases? Yes, ma'am. So, you are Jeff's intended. Oh, well, not exactly, sir, but we're very good friends, though. Ah, but, uh, you intend to make him you, your intent, am I right? Huh? <laughs> then I am right. What a lovely smile. Miss, uh... Uh, uh Vandergeld. Uh, Anne Vandergeld. Jeff never wrote us about you. Well, he doesn't exactly know I'm here, sir. Hey. Where are you from, little lady? Canada. I mean, originally, I am from South Africa. Oh, this uh, gentleman here is Dudley Stanton. Dr. Dudley Stanton. Oh, I I'm a nurse. Perhaps you could help me find a job. You see, young lady, your prospective father-in-law here is a philosopher poet. A poet? Philosopher poet. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just a poet, uh, a house painter and a, and a poet. Uh, then read us one of your masterpieces, eh? Do I have to tell me? 190 bucks worth? Hell yes. Hmm? Then give it to me. See, young lady, he doesn't have sense enough to collect them for himself. So I have to do it for him. Then one day I'm going to publish them. Probably in your own name. Read us the poem. I am the river Niger. Hear my waters. Uh, no, no, that, uh, that one is, uh, not quite ready. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah. Lord, I ain't nowhere near tired. And my soul seeks not to be flabby. Peace is a muscleless word. A vacuum, a hole in space. In my dreams, I struggle and slash and crash and cry. Damn you, you wilderness. I will cut my way through. And the wilderness shouts back, go around me. And I answer, hell no. The joke's on both of us, and I will have the last laugh. The wilderness sighs and grows stronger as I, too, round out my biceps in this ageless, endless duel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't feel no ways tired. I want a muscle-bound spirit. I say, I want a muscle-bound soul. Because I don't feel no ways tired. I feel like dancing through the valley of the shadow of death. I don't feel no ways tired. Yep. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. What's giving it that money? 
Hey. This is a blank sheet of paper. Yeah, I know. I just made it up as I went along. Oh, hell. I'll write it down for you. my cue to go home. I'll be goddamn. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Mrs. Wilhelmina Brown is going to apologize. Over my dead husband's grave. Would you like me to fix dinner for you, Mrs. Williams? <coughs> Who is this child? Oh. This Anne Velvet. Brand new girl, sweetheart, so from South Africa. Uh, she's a friend of Jeff's, and, uh, just passing through, so I asked her to spend the night. Where is she going to spend it? The bathroom? Mama, what is wrong with you tonight? She had a little too much, that's all. Come on, dear. Stay the night. You know, Jeff will be here tomorrow. God for that. Yes, Mom. And I'll be so happy to see him again. Say, why don't you and me take a little run and leave these black beauties to themselves to get acquainted? Hold on there, Johnny Williams. Where is he? Where is what? <laughs> don't play games with me, Johnny Williams. It's mortgage payment week, remember? Come on. Give it to me. All right. Oh. Great African warrior. Do your stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Five women, that's all I had. Promise you won't be out too late tonight, are you not? I got this chicken, see? Warm as gingerbread and those Young girl sitting over here. Tender. Oven ready, sweet 16-year-old stuff. What can shake us some tail feathers like the leaves in March? We're gonna stay in this saddle all night. Get out of here. Go on, go on. Go on, Johnny. Get out. What a warrior. <clears throat> Come on, single head. Okay, 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 just a minute, just a minute. Jeff and baby. Come in. Come in. Hey, Mama, I am already here. Look, I'm Chips. What's your name? Anne. Anne. Not bad, Anne. Not bad at all. Jeff won't be here until noon tomorrow. I know that. That's what he wrote to family. But he wrote Mo that he might be here tonight. Who's Mo? Who? <laughs> Who's Mo? Man, Mo's the leader. The leader of what? He's the leader. Now, are you trying to be funny or something? Now, he wrote him he'll be here tonight. You tell him we'll be back right about midnight. Fine ass. Hey, girl! Now, one thing I can't stand is a rambunctious black bitch. You, you hear me? get the hell out of here. Hey, if I wanted to, I can go and cut your drawers off without touching your pants and take what I want. Yeah, I take what I want. Over my dead body. Ah! <laughs> you know, big thing, baby. I done made it with a cops before. And she was pretty, too. Looks up from just like you. One day, once I got off from two. You damn dog, you get the hell out of here! <laughs> oh, look here. You tell Jeff that uh, Mo and I will be back around about midnight, yeah?
Miss Ann, I want you to meet Big Mo. Big Mo, this is Miss Ann. Yeah. Hey, Ann. Isn't she fine? Come on, let me see that kitchen. Oh, 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 yeah, well, she seems like she's for real anyway. Oh, Mom, Miss Anna, I'm for real. Uh -huh, I ain't for real. Oh, you shut the fuck up here. Oh, Mom, all right. I'm sorry, uh, Ann. Skeeter. And if you fall asleep, I will break your head. Did you hear me? Uh, I'm just meditating. <laughs> Ann, just excuse all this dumb. Look, all we want to do is wait for Jeff. I think you understand. You know what I think? I think you are all a bunch of very rude bastards. That's what I think. Oh, Mo, please. Let's let me squeeze up on her just once. Please. Uh, look, we ain't got time. Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams! Huh? Mr. Williams. Huh? Unwanted company, sir. Uh, we just wanted to see Jeff, Mr. Williams. Ain't that Blue Mole? Blue Mole Hayes? <laughs> ain't that what we used to call you, Little Mo? <laughs> what? I ain't seen you since Kiffy was a punk. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Mr. Williams? Good to see you, son. Yeah. Who are your friends? Oh, uh, this is uh, my girl, Gail. And this is old Chips. And you remember Skeet? This is the new guy, Al. <laughs> this is Mr. Williams and Dr. Sam. Nice to meet you. Now, gentlemen, go home. It's the wee hours of the morning. Well, uh, we're gonna wait for uh, Jeff, sir. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I said we're gonna wait for Jeff. <clears throat> well, uh... We go have a celebration for Jeff noon tomorrow, and you're welcome to come, all of y'all. But uh, that's noon tomorrow. No, no. We can't leave until we see Jeff. Now I'm sorry. Mm. You sorry, huh? All right. You would like it back, and you're gonna see. I'm sorry, I am. Okay? <sighs> Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yeah, well, Father, may forgive them, but I don't. Not what I got damn. Say, baby, you ain't the only one in here with no smoking machine, and this motherfucker will pop. You know, Put that I... thing up. And uh, Dudley, hmm. I don't know if this old hand grenade will work or not. When I pull the pin and throw it at them niggas, you jump in the kitchen, okay? Hey, okay. Mo, uh, this old man is crazy. Uh, just don't move. Oh, Mo, he's faking at me. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, uh, Mr. Williams, uh, you win. <laughs> Noon tomorrow. Let's go. I give it to you, Mr. Williams. <laughs> Got some real stuff going for you. I know. <sighs> impressive. Presumptuous as hell, but impressive. Yeah, and if I don't get this pen back in this motherfucker, it's gonna get impressive. Come on, Dudley. <laughs>
ain't nothing but a big rat. I used to tell that to Big Ben Brown. <laughs> that big old black man of mine sure could hunt him some possum. <laughs> I don't know for sure, Matty. I mean, it's obvious you've got some growths on your rib cage, but, uh... You mean, you don't know whether or not they're malignant or not, right? I want Dr. Charles to take a look at you. He'd probably recommend a biopsy. I've just finished talking to him on the phone. He's expecting you. Is he the one that operated on me before? Yeah. Eleven years. I thought I was killed. He's a good man. Yeah. 
Did I ever tell you how beautiful your hands are? Mattie. Dear Mattie. Promise me you won't tell him, Dudley. At least not for a while. I promise. In my waters, brushing and popping with muffled finger drums to cuddle, it is life. It is life. It is life. It is life. Life, you hear, stretching its limbs in my waters. Yeah! <laughs> Just in time. For what? Do you know that I, me, Lightning, Johnny Williams, more powerful than a speeding locomotive. I have just fixed up this whole yard all by myself, and now I am making it. Without telling the captain? What's that supposed to mean? Johnny, Matty came by my office this morning, early. I examined her, and... Well, I discovered a lot of irregularities. What you quite come to do now? Remove her other tit? Johnny, I don't want to alarm her until I'm sure. Johnny! She just keeps on going, Dudley. I don't know how in the hell, but she just keeps on keeping on. When are you gonna know for sure? It's Friday evening. Johnny! Johnny! Just keeps on keeping on. being so obvious. Mo, ever find out about your sweet shit. He won't, sweet baby. And don't give me that sweet baby jive. Look, man, have you got it? Well, fuck you. I hate smart-ass dope things. Look, I don't know, you, you don't have to catch your attitude. I'll catch a tude if I so desire. Now, I got the shit, and you want it. So you walk softer, you go to seminar, nigga, man. Come on. Look, come on, man. I'm sorry. I know that's your problem. You're the sorriest motherfucker I have ever come across. Finish telling me about Buckley, man. Oh, why you always want to know about Buckley? You sure they sent you from the home office, nigga? Ever since they sent you here, you've been bugging me about Buckley. Hey, look, man. If there's a finger man on the team, I want to know who it is, that's all. And why are you getting so heated up about a little party gossip, huh? I mean, you getting so heated up, baby, you clean forget about that deep freeze chill that's slipping and sliding through your bones, sugar baby. Don't 
don't you make a mistake and think a sissy can't play that Gary Cooper shit if he wants to, nigga man. I hate your guts. Yeah, well, that's cool, but I got what it takes to get your guts together, and don't you forget it. I got all the whole cards, baby. I can even pull this trigger quicker than you can because I stay in shape, and you are a dope fiend. Give me the shit, Al. Just answer me one teeny tiny little question, that's all. Who killed Buster? Was it you? No. Chips? It, it was a, it was a, it was an outside dude. Who? Who? He didn't leave his name. He just, he just did it. And split. Hey, Ben. The last I, the last I heard, man, the, the dude was, was in Frisco. Frisco. I just, Why y'all hate Buckley so anyway, huh? would have blown him away. I seen you trying to fill up on chips. You lying, nigga. You mean to tell me you don't know about chips? He made it with an embalmed corpse. And he brags about it. You know what Mo calls him? When he really gets mad at him. Formaldehyde, Dick. <laughs> that shit you snorting is not gonna last you forever. <laughs> we ought to call you Formaldehyde Brown Eye. <laughs> hey, here come Formaldehyde himself. <laughs> you flake off, nigga, while I'm warning you. Nigga. You want to know something else, Alfreda? That shit I told you about a outside dude ripping off Buckley? I made that up. <laughs> you know something, boy? Your ass is going to be mine. You hear me? <laughs> and you want to know something else? <laughs> I'm getting some good stuff as soon as we get through rapping with Jeff. I really don't need your shit, nigga. Wait, man. What's this old laugh about, man? Oh, Gary, 
Larry Cooper here. Just got some lemon in his sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mama herself. What's happening, baby? Huh? She wants to come over here and give me a hug and a squeeze. Oh, no? Is that that? Huh? He'll be here any minute. Wow. Who else is here? Uh-oh. You mean nothing but us chickens? You mean little old Miss Ann is in this big old house by herself? Huh? Like I said, he'll be here any minute. Then we got to... Ooh, get it on before he gets back, right, Mama? Now, why don't you, uh, show me just one? Hey, come on, man. Right. 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 You mind your business? You mind your business? It's all right. Huh? The chips. He wants to see Jeff's room. Well, I'm going to show it to you. All right. <laughs> now, you two just take it easy and relax. Make yourself at home. And call me if you see Big Mo coming. Hey, he who hesitates is lost, right, Mama? All I want is just a hug and a squeeze. You know where I'm coming from. Show me just one. That goes for Maldahide. <laughs> I'll show you about the American brothers, huh? Huh? <laughs> It's gonna be sweet. Now, now, lay down, now. Because I got something for you. What I got to do for you, they don't do in Africa, baby. Look at that chocolate. I'm gonna wear you out. Hey, what? Oh, 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 now, baby, you stay right here. I'll be right back, yeah? Jeff, I didn't do anything, but I was listening to the house. I said, real, brother, listen. Move it, move it. Next time I catch you looking cross out of my woman, I'm gonna rid the world of one jive ass nigga. Mo, 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff, this is my woman, Gail. This is Aunt Mo. Mo, Gail. Hello, Gail. Oh, hey, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you are survival machine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Ferocious. The survival machine. The very chance of getting back to God. Right. Who is the supreme right. survival oh. machine? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In, on, and in between the air. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why our black box is so magnificent. Uh, yeah. You yeah. magnificent survival machine. Yeah. <laughs> you know why Chips uh, shot down on your old lady like he did? Because he's a nigger. No. I think it's a little bit more than that. I think it's because of your letters, man. You mean uh, you showed my personal letters to you to them, huh? I mean, the last thing we expected, come back, 
talking about going to law school and rapping about the Constitution and a whole lot of upside-the-wall shit. What's the point, man? I'm talking about revolution, man! Yeah. <laughs> revolution. Mo. Mo, this ain't the 60s, man. You know, revolution ain't nothing but, but talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Oh, law is something, uh, it's concrete. Yeah, 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 it's concrete, man, and it's something that I can do, not just talk about. Hey, man, and we ain't just talking either. Mm -hmm. And we are about to serve notice on Whitey, and we want you with us. You already got it all figured out, Mo. You don't need me. Oh, no. We don't need nothing. We want you with us. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hear you, man, and I'm still for whatever advances the cause of the black folks. <laughs> all right. But I reserve the right to choose my own weapons. Now, gentlemen, um, my folks, my folks. Yeah, my folks are throwing me a homecoming party. <laughs> and you're all invited. All of you, even you, nigga. That's only if you're going to help make the atmosphere stay warm and groovy. You can dig it, right? About 12. Is that an order, Lieutenant, sir? Yeah, Mo, I don't play that lieutenant shit. You talking about my house, nigga? Hey, and I don't play that nigga word either. You throw it around just a little bit too much. Well, then, pat your foot while I play it. But hey, we can make you do anything we want you to. How you gonna do that, man? We might just have to work on your mom and your dad. You jive ass nigga. Mr. Zero trying to become Malcolm X, huh? See him sitting here in his Captain America uniform, huh? Surrounded by all his generals. The Skeeter, Skeeter the dope fiend, huh? And old Chip, yeah, yeah, Chip. Chip's a sex pervert. Mo the Magnificent. Still playing cowboys and Indians, huh? Cops and robbers. In your mid 20s, man. Trying to be somebody and don't know how. Don't you talk to him like that. Sorry, baby. Sorry. Yeah, you've been thinking this shit for a long time, ain't you, Brother Jim? Yeah, man. And all that shit about laying something on my folks. You try something like that, man, your ass would be mine. You know that, don't you? Or have you forgotten what a mean, evil black bastard I can be? I got more determination in my toenail than you got in your whole soul, nigga. Well, at least you still talk bad. Oh, goddamn. Mo, I ain't bad. I'm crazy, motherfucker. Now, I don't want to see you or your, your Marquis de Sade or your dope bean friend within 100 miles of my house. And don't call me. I'll call you, huh?
Oh. <laughs> If my grandmother only knew. Can I talk to you? <laughs> what? Can I talk to you? Of course. <coughs> Mo thinks I stopped and got the taxi. The organization has got to be a real hassle, Jim. How could it be anything else with him? Nothing's at his back. Well, that's why he needs you. Mo thinks in time the movement is straighten them all out. Yeah, baby. Mo's a saint. I'm a realist. Then help him, Jim. Help him. You don't need my help. He's confident about where he's going, how he's going to get there. That's not true. That job about to threaten me and my folks. I jump in an elephant's chest behind that giant. He was only saying that to them. Why well, crucify me for a bunch of nothing? Do you know Mo Jeff? I thought I did. He was a desperate guy, Jeff. Everything is all mixed up. A few years ago. Everything was straight up and down, you know? Right on for the people. Now everybody's splitting up, going every which way. Behind that real together front. Mo's about to snap, Jeff. Do you hear me? He's about to snap. The hell with the movement, Jeff. Help him. Please help him. Help him before he falls apart. Please, Jeff. I'll help you, Gail. <laughs> I know he will. Yes. 
Sam. We met. Hmm. Well, I'm glad. Because this foxy mama and your son, me, the baddest dude to catch an attitude, hmm? God's gift to the female now, race. I know you don't want me to take off my shoe and go upside your head. Oh, 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 well. Mama, what I'm trying to tell you. You gonna marry this here brazen gal? Oh, Mama. Indubitably. Do Jesus. Uncle Sam done took her and him into a cockeyed ignoramus. You too young to far good talking about getting married. I'm 25, Grandmother. Well, it still don't make no difference. You're young to saddle yourself with a wife. Where's my medicine? Where's my pocketbook? Is this what you've been putting up with, Ben? In my personal opinion, if y'all would ask me, I, uh, I would think that you'd wait a little while. At least until, uh, Jeff finished law school. Mama, ever since I come home, people have been telling me what to do and what not to do. Now, I want to marry Anne because she's a fine girl. Mama, something rare. I come home and I see my sweet baby here. It's like God was telling me, son, this is your woman. I made her for you. And God damn it, Mama. Yeah. I'm following what I feel inside my soul, Mama. mad as he makes me sometimes, I, I don't think he ever really steered me wrong. Yeah? I think then that makes you one of the family. Dad, that I, that I want a total disruption. I just want to weed out the bullshit. Change the value system so that Beverly Hills has as many welfare residents as what? Well, how in hell are you going to do that fooling, but Find the battlefield, like I've been telling you all along. I've been telling everybody. Every motherfucker to drop from a pretty black spoon thing has got to find this battlefield and go to war. All hail to the philosopher poet. I'm a poet. You philosopher poet. I'm a poet. Philosopher poet. Good man, I'm just a poet. When this country, when this world, recognizes the true meaning of book. Poetry is what the revolution is all about. We must never lose sight of the true purpose of the revolution, which is to restore poetry to the Godhead. Poetry is religion, the Alpha and the Omega. Female universe, the super eye that scrutinizes all of the eyes, and it stretches from one to infinity, from bullshit to the beatific, the rocking horse of the human spirit. God, God, God Himself is pure, unadulterated poetry. <laughs> Bravo. Bravissimo. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> I'll be dead. Hey. How you been? Bro? Where are your uniform? Dr. Stan! <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, boy, you're looking fine. Just fine. A little skinny, ah. but fine. Oh. Maddie! Get Jeff's uniform. Yes, my love. And bring the cup, please. Jesus, 
before. Mrs. Brown. <laughs> I have never hit an old lady in my life. Well, you <laughs> hit this old lady. And what? She gonna jump down your throat. And what? And saddle your gizzard. And what? And gallop your brain down. <laughs> 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 You're the biggest fool in the world. But I sure do love me some brown mama, Geneva Willamina Brown. Stinking wine, oh, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I love you too, Dudley. Don't you kiss me. Dr. Dudley Stanley, you, you walk through life with a broomstick up your ass. Although we just met, I also love me some Anne. Sweet white lady that you are. Hey, Jeff, you met, you got yourself a mama. <laughs> mama is going to protect your flanks. Sweet white lady. No problem. Oh, huh. Yeah. Oh, so thank you for that. And my son, who I love more than I love myself, my big time, big old United States of America Air Force First Lieutenant son is coming home today. No, I'm here, Bob. No, you ain't. I oh, know. You ain't here yet. Because if you were, you'd have your uniform on. Yeah, well, I don't like to wear that. Why not? Well, I Come guess, on, I guess it because out. I feel ashamed of it. No, I, I don't really believe in this country anymore. Have I been waiting here, waiting to see you in that goddamn uniform? Put it on. I made a vow with myself, Daddy Johnny. Well. God knows this country ought to be torn down. Shouldn't we make sure it's torn down for the right to become an officer, if you're able? It's an accomplishment. When I see you in that uniform with them bars on your shoulder and wings on your chest, it's, uh, it's kind of a... Heresy. Poetry. Jeff. Black poetry. I didn't make it through navigator school, Pop. I washed out. I flunked out. Whatever. My son flunked out? Oh, no. Uh, you didn't write us nothing about flunking out. So you're lying? Now put it on. I didn't write you because every letter I got from you and Mama was telling me about how proud you were of your navigator, son. Well, we thought you was doing all right. You thought that because that's what you wanted. Well, what else was supposed to think? You could have thought about me. Huh? You could have thought about uh, 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 Jeff Williams. Damn your pride, Pop. You could have thought about me. Pop, I hated navigation school. I never liked figures, Pop. Oh, you, you didn't work hard enough. Oh, no, no, that was the math, Pop. That was you, not me. See, I don't like math, Pop. Don't you see that? Well, no. You flunked out, my son. And that's all I can see. Y'all had a piece of my toe. Yeah. Everybody had a piece of my toe. Pop, there were only eight black officers out of 300 at that school. And they kept telling me, man, you got to make it. You got to be a credit to your race. What's wrong with that? And then there was this chick I was shacking up with. And she kept telling me, Jeff, honey, we need that extra 130 a month to keep me in the style to which you have made me accustomed. Get to the point. But don't you see the point, Pop? Everybody had a piece of my toe but me. My fine fox, my fellow black officers, the pig instructors, you, mama, everybody had a piece of my toe but Jeff Williams. Jeff Williams is Johnny Williams. Son, goddammit.
You mean none of me belongs to me? I want to see you in that goddamn uniform. And go put it on. Pop, don't you see? All this talk is about you and about me and about the battlefields you always been talking about. Pop, who is Jeff with? Hey, hey. <laughs> who is he? He's a dude who hated navigation school and to the point to where he got migraine headaches on every flight. Oh, my God. That's a, now, don't baby me, Mama. Don't baby me, hmm? I'm still the best. <laughs> But I ain't now, nor do I ever want to be a super nigga, because that's all a super nigga is, a super nigga. Somebody who spends his whole life trying to prove he's as good as the man. On my last flight exam, a night celestial, we're circling the field. I tear off a piece of my flight log and started writing me a poem. Well, anyway, along comes <laughs> Lieutenant Fortwright. A Texas cracker, <laughs> whose, whose one joke repeated over and over again is, uh, hee-haw students never worry about being lost, at least y'all know you're in an airplane. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> well, this, this orangutan caught sight of my poem and started laughing. And that did it, Pop. I says to myself, what am I doing this shit for? This navigator jive ain't for me. So they sent me, they sent me to a board of senior officers. You see, this was not the first time I'd failed my night flying celestial exam, you see. So they give me, Pop, they give me a white all-American lieutenant for counsel. And do you know what he told me? He told me to cop a plea to express love and dedication to my country and to the Air Force. To lick ass up. But I told that board to let go of my toe. And they said, what? <laughs> you know, you know the, way, the way white folks can do when they, when they can't believe their ears. So I screamed at the top of my voice. Let go my nigger toe so I can stand up and be a man. And they must have thought I was insane. Because they hemmed and they hawed. But they let go my toe. Mama, I had cut loose the man. So, I cut loose my black brother officers. And I went right home and I cut loose my fine fox. And I felt like there was no more glue holding my shoes to the track. I felt like I could almost fly, Pop. Because I was a super nigga no more. So I ain't proving nothing to nobody. Black, blue, white, polka dot. Nobody. Not even to you, Daddy Johnny. So, Mama, you can take that thing, that uh, uniform thing, and you can give it to the... You can give it to the Salvation Army. You can give it to the Goodwill or whatever. Because it will never have a good fortune of getting on my back again. Bravissimo. It's all about battlefield, Daddy Johnny, just like you always said.
reference to a missing person. His name is John Williams. He's a black man. No, I don't want to try the morgue. I asked to see you all here tonight is a... Will Matty and I have something very serious to discuss with you? Dudley, do they have to know? I think it's only fair that they should know Matty. Matty is going to have to be uh, hospitalized. I guess that's why Johnny hasn't been home. I guess he's uh, somewhere. Rudin. Dudley, you promised not to tell him. Somebody, please tell me what's going on. Jeff, we got the report today, and Matty has uh, several growths, malignant growths. Matty has cancer. Dudley, you're about as gentle as a sledgehammer. I'm serious. Very serious, but not hopeless. The location prevents removal. However, cobalt treatments might... Jeff. Jeff. Look at me. I'm not upset, am I? Look at me. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. I'm just gonna die, that's all. Ain't no such a thing. You know Dudley here is just a cockeyed crack. Mama, the only thing that worries me is the whereabouts of my man. Where is he, Mama? Where is he? Mama, you, uh, <clears throat> you can't talk negative about these things. Mm -hmm. What negative? And I know... Mama, hush. Look at me. Look at me. I've had a full life with an extraordinary man. And you. Where else would I get a stronger, finer looking? Loving, Jeff. And I'll be around to see you, Marianne. She's a gift to you, Jeff. She's a gift. And don't you abuse her. I still have my mother beside me. Oh, yes. Alive and kicking. <laughs> A mainstay. Oh, Dudley. Your father and my spiritual brother. Thank you, sweetheart. No, Dudley. Thank you. Now, what old never negative thing? Hmm? Don't you know if Johnny was to walk through that door, I'd be the happiest woman in God's creation. And as old Johnny would say, Lord, oh Lord, I don't feel no either. I could go on for another, another century. Stop all the jokes, I'm the 
faceless whistling in your cold belly the Atlantic. You are. I am. You Earth. are the Mother Earth. Sleep. Sleep, you Mother Earth. I am the first sperm. I see no, hear no, speak no. I see no, hear no, speak no evil. Quick, the whole thing is allowed to blow up in our faces. Remember what I told you all about that cop Buckley? What can you have to do? Moe's laying a trap with his tool. I said cool it, Moe is laying a trap with his tool. He's going to have to phone his boss. He's either going to do it from the bowling alley phone next to the headquarters or from the snack shop down the street. He's got the phones bugged and ready to be monitored. Now, I'll be covering the snack shop. And we want Jeff to cover the bowling alley phones. He's the only one we can trust. All right, she put it out there, Jeff. How about it? Oh, man. Uh, I ain't got time for this cloak and dagger shit. My family's hurting. Didn't you hear me? No matter what you or I think of Mo's activities, oh, no, I will not stand by and let him be betrayed. I really could not live with myself, Jeff, if I let that happen. Makes it so sure he's gonna make contact, man. Oh, he's got to, man. He's got to. Look, we're instituting a change of plan at the last minute. And now, while uh, that rat has got to faint to the pigs. And when he does, and everybody's going to the police station, we're gonna be going all the I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't wanna hear no more about it, man. I'll monitor your phone for you, but that's all. Now, don't cry me, Mo. Th that's cool. That's cool, brother. Right? This is as far as I go, man. <laughs> Johnny, what are you trying to do? Huh? What are you trying to do? Where you been, Johnny? Where you been? In the desert. Yeah, out in the desert, Maddie. Like Christ talking to myself. Christ was talking to the devil, you old vino. That's right, same little. I took care of the old bastard. I said, get thee behind me, prince of darkness. And then I got thirsty and came home. Because I want to see myself some, some angels. Pop, you okay? Yeah. Uh, Pop, I mean, are you really okay? Oh. Yeah. Welcome home, son. It's my son. It's home. Really home. I'm glad he found his battlefield. Don't do that again, Johnny. Something's troubling you. Let's talk about it, okay? Oh, that was all right, Maddie, really. Delsa gave me a room over her bar, and I was gonna write a love poem for you. Words are precious jewels. Did you know that? And that I couldn't find none precious enough to match you. So, started drinking, couldn't stop. <laughs> man, yesterday, these, these little men came to visit me. 
It's a DT's, you know. It's delirium tremens from not eating. Oh, that's why they're so little. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do on Judgment Day? I'm going to grab that motherfucker by the throat. I'm going to squeeze and squeeze till I get an answer. They don't have to give you an answer, Johnny. You know, I thought you took care of it. I thought you said get you behind me, thing. Well, I tried. God knows how fucking hard I tried. I know, baby. I see you every second. You should have let me whip him out, Maddie. You should have let me whip out the bullshit. We're not made that way, me. We're just not made that way. You deserve so much more than this. Nothing. I, I wouldn't to give you so much. But I got you, baby. I got you. I got the kind, the sweetest man in the world. <gasps> I got the Rolls Royce, baby. I could have done it, Maddie. God knows I could have done it. I know. I put it on you, baby. I stopped you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me, sweet baby? Please, you forgive me. You know, I was just selfish, Johnny. Oh, Johnny, I was so happy. All I ever thought of was seeing you come to that door, walk, stagger, stumble. I only complain because I, I, I felt I had to say something. But I never meant a word of it, Johnny. I never meant one word. Oh, oh no. You couldn't have given me nothing more. I would just kill him and die from too much happiness, Johnny. At 3.57, we're going to all meet in front of the empty furniture store down across from the police station, all right? And when we get there, we'll come in in pairs, Chips and Al, Skeeter and me. When we leave, we'll all go in separate directions. Got it? Fine. Let's go. Look here. I want to go and take a pee, man. You stay right here, OK? Yeah, OK, man. Hey, hey, look, Chief, I got, I got to make a call. Man, come on.
when able seven to headquarters lieutenant and former states that 77th street police station is the target operation scheduled for 415 possible bomb threat What did you give me, Daddy? He's so strong, I can hardly hold my head up. You feel any pain? Mm -mm. Good. Then it's doing its job. You rest well when you take your nap. It can't be too long for now, I don't feel it. What'd you hear, Gail? Nothing but Skeeter making a horse connection. What about you? Well, I heard something all right, but I couldn't identify the voice. What'd you hear? Uh, plan B, then the voice on the other end said, are you sure? And then the caller said, yeah, plan B. Is that all? No, it was something about the time, but I couldn't hear the thing because of all the damn flushing going on. Well, what's the voice familiar at all? Maybe it was just so much racket up there. Downstairs and get a paper, man, in case they sell them out, okay? Hey, 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 now, you hurry back, because Paul will be here. I finished it. What? The poem that I was working on. It's for you, Maddie. River Niger. It's not a love poem, but it's dedicated to you. To Maddie, Jean Williams. Read us your poem, nigga. I am the River Niger. Hear my waters. I wriggle and stream and run. I am totally flexible. I am the River Niger. Hear my waters. My waters are the first sperm of the world when the earth was but a faceless, whistling embryo. Life burst from my liquid kernels like popcorn. Hear my waters rushing Poppy in muffled finger drum staccato. It is life you hear, stretching its limbs in my waters. I am the river Niger. Hear my waters. When the Earth Mother cracked into continents, I was vomited from the cold belly of the Atlantic to slip slyly into Africa from the underside of her brow. I see no, hear no, speak no evil, but I know. I gossip with the crocodile and rub elbows with the river horse. I have swapped morbid jokes with the hyena and heard his dry cackle at twilight. I see no, hear no, speak no evil, but I know I am the river Niger. Hear my waters. Hear, I say, hear my waters, man. This is Mammy Tammy's baby. I have lapped at the pugnacious hips of brown mamas, I have tapped on the doors of their honeydews. Yeah. I have shimmered like sequins as they sucked me over their blueberry tongue. They sung me to sleep in the glittering afternoon here. I have washed the red wounds of clay-decorated warriors. But bad dudes who smirked at the leopard, I have cast witches from gambling babies here. I have known the warm kiss from newly circumcised boys have purified the saliva from sun-drenched lions. Do you hear me talking? I am the River Niger. I came to the cloudy Mississippi 
over keels of incomprehensible woe. I ran away to the Henry Hudson under sails of ragged hope, transplanted to Harlem from the Harlem River Drive. Hear me, my children. Hear my waters. I sleep in your veins. I see no, hear no, speak no evil. But I know, and I know that you know. I flow to the end of your spirit. Hold hands, my children, and I will flow to the ends of the earth. And the whole world will hear my waters. I am the river Niger. Don't deny me. Do you hear me? Don't deny me. I mean, there were pigs all over the place. They opened fire, and the next thing I know is everything just went wrong. You mean they just started shooting, you didn't shoot first? Well, I didn't want to hurt anybody if I could help it, Mr. Williams. Did you kill the cop? I don't know. It hit the ground so hard I could almost feel it. Oh, you mean you come here after hitting a cop, man? Well, if you call yourself a revolutionary, you're supposed to know where you're going to take your wounded. It takes more than wearing a damn beret. Hey, man, there are wall-to-wall -wall pigs in the field office. And most said to come over here, man, if we get in trouble. You mean you told them to come here if this happened, right? All right, man, I made a mistake, and I'm Stay sorry. Mistake, you sorry. Yeah, no. yeah. I killed Wait, 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 wait. 
now and let you just smash it. Oh, come on, man, you're lying. All right, look, there, there, there were cops swarming all over the place. He gave some kind of excuse about a newspaper. I saw him run downstairs and deliberately bumped into one Mo, of them. You're not believing this shit, are you? Huh? Mo, Mo, I saw him whisper to one of them ear. Yeah, who's ear? A pig, a pig. And the way you've been questioning me about broccoli, sucker. Why didn't somebody tell me this before? Hey, Mo, let me tell you something. You want to know who your informant is? Do you want to know who he is? I'll tell you who he is. Talk right over here. Let me tell you something. A pig will do anything for you if you do something for them in return. He is your informer. He will do anything for some horse, Mo. Let me tell you something. He was the one that told the pigs to go to the state office building. He's the one. Uh, he was with me. That phone call. That phone call. Excuse me, it was a horse connection. That's all. Uh, are you sure? Can you be sure, huh? Suppose I was to tell you that I killed Buckley. And suppose I was to ask you, what do you know about Buckley? I did it, baby. I killed him. Oh. How'd he die? Slug to the forehead. What caliber, Jeff, huh? 45. I stole it from the Air Force. Jeff, come on. Buckley was killed over a month ago. You've only been here one week. Suppose I was to tell you. I got released from active duty exactly one month ago last Friday. Oh, shit. My release papers. What do you know, Mo? Yes, actually, one month ago, you get up, get your hands up, move over there, come on, come on, get up there, Mo, what's wrong with you? Move, boy. Uh, come on, Skeeter, get him off. Come on, get over there, get up, get your hands up, get your hands up. Okay. This is signed up for one reason, and for one reason only, to find out who killed Buckley. And now I know who killed him. And let me tell you something, he was worked off to tend to you, brillo-headed motherfuckers, you hear me? Don't move on me, boy! And now his friends out there are gonna take this place apart! Get your hands up! And every one of you fuckers are in trouble. You motherfuckers fucking up the country with your slogans and jive ass threats. Militants ain't that a bomb, bitch! Let me tell you something, I hate the smell of you stinking. Get your hands up, fucker! Can't you see Jeff is lying, man? I killed Buckley! I did! Hey, hey, hey! Listen, I know where each and every one of you were when Buckley was killed. And none of you could have done it. He did. I don't know why I didn't think of good old Jeff before. Don't be stupid, man. It was an outside job. You bet your sweet ass it was. Him. Jeff, what are you trying to do? You know you were in Canada with me? Drop it, son. <laughs> Staples, it's five more minutes, just five more, then he can come in and make his arrest. Don't shoot! I'm a doctor! I want to talk with you! All right, man, hold your fire. Come on out. This is Lieutenant Staples. What the hell's going on in there? My name is Dr. Dudley Stanton. I'm the family doctor. A man has been seriously wounded in here. Throw out your weapons. Both weapons have been secured. Just give us five minutes, and then you can come in. If anyone tries to escape, my men have orders to shoot. Do you understand that? No one will. You have my word. Five minutes. All right, you got your five minutes. Go on. Good boy. 
Yeah, I'm kidding. Nothing about niggas killing each other, anyhow. What's going on, Jack? It's okay. What's going on? It's all right. Yeah? Jeff, come over here. Come on. All you all sit down and listen. Oh, Johnny? Keep away. Keep, keep, keep Wipe the handle off Moe's gun. Um, give it to me. I'm going to let his prints on this thing. Charlie. You're bleeding. Mary. You're bleeding. Isn't it? I love you, Ben. Yeah. But I ain't got much left. You, you're bleeding. Don't. Huh? Now we've got to get the children straightened out, so just be my super bitch. <laughs> Shut up. I am the real leader of the organization. You got that? I was with Skeeter when he got shot. And I fired the shot that hit the cop at the office building. And when it came, Back here. So I knocked it. Al was the Judas. We had a shootout. And don't nobody own a gun here but me. Oh. Your leader. You got that? Oh, I'm so sorry. What for? I'm cheating you. Oh, no. Like no, no, no. Don't say that. Don't suffer alone, honey. Just give it up and take my hand. Children will be all right now. Good night. 